Hello, I'm Nora Lee Moore, reporting for InSpades News. Trustworthy, authoritative, uproarious journalists are welcome. Time to change the news world for good. Time to choose what kind of journalist you want to become. We are at the dawn of a pivotal moment in journalism history. Mainstream news is losing its power to manufacture fake news, thanks to phones and people willing to make truth prevail. While we all have our subjective truths and point of view which makes us unique and human, the objective truth is not so easy to bend anymore. Not long ago, before phone and data connections were so easily accessible, the mainstream news had at their disposal two of the most powerful tools to influence the masses, video and broadcast capabilities. Viewers did not have access to any information that was not coming from the radio or the TV, and for this reason, anything moving on a screen was proof of authenticity. This power gave news agencies the possibility to control the story, muzzle any opinion distant from their point of view, change the narrative, and omit what the higher powers believed was not important to fulfill their agenda. Tables have turned. Today the masses are beginning to control the news. Up to this point the distorted narrative, fabricated and inculcated to the point of having mindless puppets in front of a camera repeating over and over again what their owners or puppet masters were imposing to satisfy their agenda was the norm, and now, fortunately, it seems to be at a turning point. There are endless cases where the mainstream news couldn't fake it anymore and had to follow the narrative as it was unfolding. One of the cases that everyone recalls is the death of George Perry Floyd Jr. Murdered by police officer Derek Michael Chauvin in Minneapolis. The dispute over an alleged $20 bill was the straw that broke the camel's back, and the Black Lives Matter movement boomed to echo around the world violently, after hundreds of years of unchecked racism. Although several videos showed the whole unfolding of the events that brought to the killing of George Floyd, mainstream media continued to try to distort facts throughout the trial and after Chauvin's verdict. In the case of George Floyd, there was not much at stake compared to the case of COVID-19, Big Pharma, Fossey, and vaccines. The latest news that has been bluntly altered by mainstream media is the story of the Freedom Convoy that originated in Ottawa. Under the alleged influence of PM Justin Trudeau and his lackeys like Marco Mendicino, which showed his absolute disregard for truth in these videos, the entire peaceful protest was labeled as guided by Nazi, rapists, here again Marco Mendicino should be arrested for such gratuitous allegations, and terrorists. The mainstream news agencies uttered the lies allegedly imparted by Trudeau to the point that all funding to the protest was seized, while no attempt to communicate with the protesters was ever attempted. We can continue to debate forever the origins of COVID-19, how much Fossey and the NIH were involved in the creation of the virus, what reasons were there to finance a Chinese laboratory, how much Trudeau's actions are anti-democratic. But these discussions will sum up to nothing if we do not spread the real news with real data and real documentation. If we don't help people that don't have a voice, if we don't ask the right questions with a loud, roaring voice, all this will be lost. In spades. News was the very first to talk about the Viers effects reported on the CDC's website, but kept silent by all mainstream media, still today no news agency has truly investigated the causes of the deaths after vaccination. This is why in spades news is so important, and why we are calling journalists with a strong voice to become part of our editorial team. Being silent is not any longer an option. Canadians have a prime minister acting like a dictator, holding a democratic position while punishing peaceful protesters with violence and legalized theft, distorting facts, endangering the freedom of speech, freezing accounts for over $10 million, refusing to apologize for racist comments and above all invoking the Emergency Act without proofs nor trying to reach out for a peaceful resolution. This is the moment to act, this is the moment to unite and take away the power from mainstream media. Today all of us have the power to broadcast video and photos straight from our phones. Today all the protesters have been streaming the truth to fight the lies that Justin Trudeau and his following have been spreading unchecked and unmatched. Today we need you. Journalists, writers, videographers, photographers, to help us fight mainstream news and corrupt politicians to make our voice louder and stronger. We need lions to join us because the wolves are in power, and there are way too many sheep in the news.